Okay, another day, post a video about this. This actually came out of a WJ, like a 99. And I've always been looking for one. I noticed that they were very similar. You know, everything in here works as it should. I got a really nice one because I actually had to pull two of them. You cannot see what I'm showing you. All right, that's better. So, no, this doesn't work because my Jeep does not have the technology for it. But that's okay. I really didn't care about that. Um, it's got the backlights back here. You know, I don't, I think this was just a normal panel just for design to continuate with these lines. Um, so, I don't know about that. But, another thing I really like this besides the fact that, you know, you don't see these a lot besides in the Grand Cherokees. And you can see them in Cherokees, but they're rare. And they came in the top um, model trim. Um, so... This is part of the reason why I like them because they got the clicks, you know, just cool things like that. Like I said the other day, I'm, I'm trying to make my Jeep very unique. Um, so it, it doesn't fit the curves exactly the same, but it's really similar. So pretty much what you have to do to get one of these to fit is you pop off your old dome light. It's not a big deal. You have to get the mounting bracket. There's one in here. Um, you just got to get that out and you got or out of the Jeep. You pull this console out of you got to. Just drill it into the crossbar right there where it's supposed to mount on anyways in the XJ and where it mounted on the WK and the ZJ. Or WK, why am I saying WK? Is it WJ? WJ, forgive me. I've said that in another video too. Um, anyways, so all of the lights work around. I got LED lights for it. The first one I pulled, someone had glued these together for some reason, so you couldn't click them on and off. And luckily, I found that out while I was at the junkyard the same day. So I just went and pulled another one. It takes like five minutes to pull them. Anyways, once you pull off your old dome light, you're going to get three wires. You're going to get a pink, I believe, a yellow, and a black. Your pink is going to be your constant power that can run these. Your yellow is going to be for these. Or is it that color? I don't know. It's, it works the same. Two of the same colors go to these bottom footlights like I was talking about in another video. Um, anyways, you play around with them, figure it out. You can put a voltmeter up to it. Super simple to figure out. And you, I pulled the plug. I just cut the plug off the WJ that I pulled this out of. So it plug into there. So I knew that. Um, and you don't have to route any wires. You can just splice them right into there. And to check to see if your Jeep has the technology for that, the compass and stuff like that. I don't think any of the XJs actually do. But there's a simple way you can check. Because there's a plug underneath the passenger side of the dash. I can get this door open. Dude, this thing's wobbling around. Why do you do this to me? There we go. Now it's not wobbly. Um, let's take a peek under here. Oh, it's still wobbly. I lied. Why did you get all wobbly on me? Stupid Chinese piece of plug. Right, right here, this plug. So, uh, yep, see, I was right. It's a pink, yellow, and black. You're going to focus sometime this year? Thank you. So, this is the Jeep side, the plug. I just noticed I had the three wires. So, I'm like, okay, I don't have anything for the compass and fuel mileage and stuff like that. kind of figured that. But anyways, plugs are the same on this end and up there. So, that's simple. Same colors throughout. And... You can see off the foot light, because I haven't zip tied up these wires. I just had the dash part the other day from doing the steering column. Um, pink and yellow go... So yellow's negative, I believe. I think that it's supposed to be kind of a red, but it faded. I think it's a very good color. Uh, oh, you can't see. But anyways, yellow, I think, is positive. Or negative, actually. So, anyways. You can figure it out, like I said, voltmeter. And you do that. And it's the same thing with... Uh, and you know, I'm not going to make a video on these separate. But same thing with these. You just run a wire into that pink wire because that's what it goes up in here and it has a pink wire and you're supposed to meet them up in here anyway. So that's super simple. I was able to put these in. I want to get LEDs for these as well. I love LEDs. Uh, just run one wire you have to run. I just kind of ran my hand through it. I, there's a couple holes and you can kind of feed it through so you know you don't have any of that sticking out. But yeah, I, I want to clean these up. I want to get some carp or not carp. Yeah, essentially carpet cleaner because I got some spots over here from my windshield used to leak that's just water stains and stuff like that I'm gonna get out it's not it's not the very cleanest especially on that side it used to leak a lot um, then we come under here that's an external speaker for CB I need to do that on the sound bar the liner's a little bit torn up from where I've rolled it I still haven't cleaned that bar that's gross 
I rolled this back in February and I drove it up until a month ago just so I can build it. I have a lot of extras on here. Eventually I'll have a video on everything. But anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.